Good morning. So we're gonna squat down and point the other leg out. Put all your weight on the leg right here and on that heel. Point the other toe. So deep and then bounce over to the other. So you're kinda gonna do a little hop. Really keep into that squat, putting all your weight on that heel that is underneath you. Pointing the other toe, really engage your stomach. Uh, make your stomach tight and point that other toe out using your bottom, your legs, and your abs. Okay, the next move, you're going to lay on your side. Put your weight on your forearm, straighten your body out. Put your legs, stack them on top of each other. And you're going to raise your hips. Now, and really tighten all those stomach muscles and butt muscles as you bring your hip down to the ground and then back up to the ceiling. So you're really using your side abs, all those muscles on the side, and you're really, really tightening everything. Keep it tight and toned and uh, work those muscles. So go down and then up, okay? Now you're gonna switch over to the other side. Put your weight on your forearm, and you're gonna straighten those legs out and that body, tighten everything, keep it tight, make it work, and you're gonna lift it up and back down to the, to the floor. So make that hip go to the floor and then up to the ceiling. Really use all your muscles. Really concentrate when you're doing these moves to make every muscle work and every repetition count. Okay, now we're gonna do mountain climbers. So get your position, like you're climbing a mountain, and you're gonna switch legs. So really use your muscle to pull those legs in. This is gonna get your heart rate going. So really pull those legs in with those abs and um, switch legs and just keep going. Do about 30 of these if you can. Remember to keep breathing while you're doing these, okay ladies? All right, now you're gonna lay on your back, hands to the side, raise one foot to the ceiling, and you're gonna lift up your hips. So one foot at a time. Really use that butt and leg muscles on that side that you're using, not the one that's lifted, and just lift it to the ceiling. So you're switching legs, and you're gonna do the other side. Really, really tighten those abs and that bottom, and really make it count. Make each one count, raising that heel to the ceiling. Okay, now you're gonna get up and you're gonna go down to the ground, do a push up, step up and jump up. So out, do a little push up and then jump. So these can be hard. Um, push ups are not my thing because of my neck surgery. So, you know, I'm really slow with them, but I make them count and that's what matters. So do your best. If you can't do a push up, then leave the push up out. But really make those legs go out and then use your abs to bring them back in and step up and jump. You're using a lot of muscles here, and you're using a lot of calories. You're burning a lot of calories. You may get tired. Just do your best, okay? Now you're going to come down to the ground, and we're going to do crunches to, the other, to each knee. So you're going to crunch one elbow to the other knee. Crunches are also not very good for me. I'd rather do other ab exercises. Um, as a mom, sometimes our lower abdomen is more of a challenge than our upper. And to me, um, crunches work more of my upper abs. So I like to do more um, focus on my lower abs. But these are good crunch. Um, again, not the best at them because I have had neck surgery. Okay, we're going to go back to the um, side lunge. And so you're going to point your toe, and you're going to put all your weight on that one heel. So the heel that you're putting all your weight on, make the other toe point, and really focus on a strong core. Tighten everything straight back, chest up. You can do it. Keep on. Now I've been practicing these, I'm not the best, but here's my crow pose. 